2017 Alfa Romeo for C Overview. After a 20-year absence, Alfa Romeo returned to the U.S. market in 2015, leading off with the 4C, a beautifully designed mid-engine sports car, as its halo. The two-seat coupe and Spider are to be built for one generation only, to re-establish the storied brand as a worthy BMW competitor, rather than a fancier Fiat. For roughly the price of two Mazda Miatas, the 4C comes with minimal sound deadening and no power steering, cruise control, or spare tire, all in the name of hard-edged, low-weight driver engagement. Counterintuitively, there's no manual transmission available, only a six-speed dual-clutch automatic with steering wheel paddle shifters. What's new for 2017? For 2017, Alfa Romeo has added an Alpine premium audio system with a subwoofer to the 4CS options list, as well as a Giallo Prototipo yellow exterior paint option and available carbon fiber roof. There are also two new wheel designs available, silver fan spoke alloys and dark fan spoke alloys engine, transmission, and performance. The Alpha 4C is powered by a 237 horsepower turbocharged 1.75 liter inline four cylinder engine that comes mated only to a six speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Despite the engine's diminutive displacement, the Turbo 4 manages a 4.2 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time and quarter mile sprint of 12.9 seconds at 107 miles per hour, according to the C slash D stopwatch. But the Alpha's real forte is revealed in the twisties. The 4 C's handling is electrifying, it darts through corners like an open wheel racing machine. But the ride is very stiff, and at low speeds the steering is enormously heavy, so routine parking tasks require embarrassing amounts of time and effort. Fuel Economy EPA fuel economy testing and reporting procedures have changed over time. For the latest numbers on current and older vehicles, visit the EPA's website and select Find and Compare Cars. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo with a wheelbase of just 93.7 inches and height of 46.7 inches, you must be in reasonably good shape to enter or exit the Alpha 4C, and once inside you'll find it not particularly comfortable. The interior is tight, with well-bolstered racing-style chairs whose bottoms are a bit flat. The cabin is a minimalist throwback, with very few modern electronic driver aids. But the controls are all within easy reach, and standard features include a full set of gauges, leather-wrapped steering wheel, and metal-look trim. Available packages add a few items, like cruise control, parking sensors, and carbon fiber interior trim. There's no rear trunk, only a small trunk in front that can accommodate two duffel bags at best. The Alpha 4C has been described as a sports car that is not built for cross-country travel, though some highly adventurous purists might be willing to try infotainment and connectivity. If the Alpha 4C's performance, handling, and unsurpassed fun-to-drive quotient doesn't distract you from its basic, out-of-date infotainment system, you are not the right customer for this car. The tight interior does have an infotainment system with a touchscreen, but that's about it. Standard features are limited to Bluetooth, a USB port, and a four-speaker stereo. For an upgrade, the 4C can be ordered with an optional Alpine audio system that includes a CD player and a subwoofer. Safety features and crash test ratings. For more information about the Alfa Romeo 4CS crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, websites. Fuel Economy EPA fuel economy testing and reporting procedures have changed over time. For the latest numbers on current and older vehicles, visit the EPA's website and select Find and Compare Cars. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo 
With a wheelbase of just 93.7 inches and height of 46.7 inches, you must be in reasonably good shape to enter or exit the Alpha 4C, and once inside you'll find it not particularly comfortable. The interior is tight, with well-bolstered racing-style chairs whose bottoms are a bit flat. The cabin is a minimalist throwback, with very few modern electronic driver aids. But the controls are all within easy reach.